Cohen's v. Virginia. This case was decided in 1821, and the opinion was written and delivered by the Chief Justice, our favorite Federalist, John Marshall. And I've been reading bits and pieces of this opinion, and it's basically another state's rights, uh, federal rights opinion. Uh, in this case, it had to do with a lottery that was being run out of D.C., and the guys who ran it uh, sold some tickets in Virginia, and it was illegal in Virginia. And so Virginia prosecuted these guys and convicted them of violating Virginia law. But in the process, Virginia had to take a look at the federal law that allowed them to operate this lotto in D.C. D.C. had a lotto back then uh, to raise money to help improve the, the city. And basically, John Marshall took this case and made a strident case for a strong central government, uh, the supremacy of federal law, the supremacy of the Supreme Court, and really stuck it to Virginia, really told them that, look, uh, the states had to give up these rights. They had to give up these rights in order to effectuate the Constitution. And the Constitution was approved by the people. This is really an amazing uh, decision by John Marshall. And we wouldn't have the country that we have today without the contributions of, of the John Marshall Court. I mean, there's so many contributions to what we have today as a country, and, and John Marshall is one of them. Uh, I want to read this one passage. A constitution is framed for ages to come and is designed to approach immortality as nearly as human institutions can approach it. Its course cannot always be tranquil. It is exposed to storms and tempests, and its framers must be unwise statement indeed if they have not provided it so far as nature will permit with the means of self-preservation from the perils it must be destined to encounter. That's from Cohen's v. Virginia.